your like, Vada Fly gonna recap this and say Gotti caught a 30 on the John Road. So all y'all wanna know what happened, I'm gonna tell you what happened. He got smoked. That was crazy, y'all the game. Time has Peter, nobody that knows body. Hit his area with 51. Everything in the fire fly. We used to rap like that. You already know what it is, man. Salute to the subscribers. That notification gang, RiceGangClothing.com for the merchandise. You heard me right. Salute to the subscribers. That notification gang. Salute to my guy, Showtime SP. Salute to everybody who watches this content, whether religiously or in passing. Every single one of y'all out there, because without y'all, there would definitely be no us, like the video, etc., etc. But don't let none of that get too far ahead of you. So if you haven't heard, yo, this Cassidy, this Hitman. Murder Mook situation is crazy, son. Yo, there's a video. I'm gonna play the live stream video, son. You, if you watch this video without laughing, yo, you, you, you really need to lighten up, son. I was dying. Salute to Mickey Fax and everything that he's got going on. You know, Mickey Fax got a YouTube channel now. And he does what he do with the bar breakdowns and stuff like that. And I think it's essential where people who've been in battle rap for a while to, you know, participate in what's going on, and I like what he's doing out there. I like the energy, but yo, son, this nigga Cassidy was wild and son. And yo, it's funny, I'm not gonna lie, it was, what he was saying, like, he had some facts in there, though. Like, he had, so, all right, here's where it starts, you know what I'm saying? I don't wanna keep y'all, we're gonna keep this thing moving. Hitman Hollis says, on God, Mooka Joe. I reply tomorrow with the truth and shut them corny lies up. He must forgot who he's playing with, say less. Nigga laughed and made blogs when Jag said I paid Cassidy to battle me. It was all jokes. But I said Mook giving Cass angles and nobody want to laugh now. Niggas is hoes. Cassidy, I mean, um, Hitman was basically saying he that, that uh, Hitman was basically saying that Mook is giving Cassidy angles to use against him in the battle or whatever the case may be that they have going on on Rare Breed Entertainment uh, and, and shit like that April 3rd, you know what I'm saying? Focus, focus, focus. Okay, you, you focusing? Oh, all right, focus with him, focus with me. All right, anyway, but anyway, so I read it. So um, he, he basically said that Mook is giving Cass angles. So he got on a live stream together with Daylight, Bird and Boop. Daylight had his kids and shit in the background, you know, making all kind of noise and shit. But, uh, they got together and they spoke about it, you know what I mean? And Cass was basically saying like, yo, he was talking, <laughs> yo, he better, he better use all them angles because what he do, he gonna die anyway. Like, I don't know, man, this shit crazy, man. Cause we've seen Cassidy battle more than once, you know what I'm saying? Um, but I can't say he didn't inspire a lot of battle rappers when the, when the DVD, Shit real, I know how bad in the whole brick feel. Like, I remember that shit vividly. Cassidy was one of them ones when it came to that, them punchlines and that battle rap and shit. Um, so, we gonna see where it goes with it, man. But Cassidy is overconfident again. Very confident. And I like it because it give me shit to talk about. So, I ain't even mad, you know what I'm saying? I hope I hope he continues to entertain. I hope he continues to keep this shit at this level. Their face-off is probably going to be the best thing that has happened. Their face-off is going to be worth the price of admission admission altogether. It's going to be worth paying for the fucking face-off. Like, that, that, what? That shit going to be epic, son. So, long story short, uh, they got together on live stream. Cash was going in, you know what I'm saying? He said he was the first guest on Wild and Out, and he was the last guest on Wild and Out. I was doing this shit before y'all had a job. Like, <laughs> I can hear his angles coming already, son. Them shits is going to be hilarious, yo. I just hope that it all equals out to be a good battle because, man, when I watch this live stream, and I, I I didn't record, like, the whole, whole thing, and Cass even said in the live stream that he beat up Jin before. Like, they had boxing gloves, and he punched him, he was bleeding and shit. But the way he be telling his stories is so fucking funny, yo. This nigga Cash is the <laughs> Yo, I can't lie, my nigga. That shit definitely keeps me highly entertained. Uh, other than that, man, I'm about to get out of here, man. Salute to every single person who uh, gave me love on my birthday or whatever the case may be. You know what I'm saying? I definitely appreciate that type of shit. Um, and there's a, um, a salute to Mr. Check the Temperature. You know what I'm saying? He had, uh, I had said if you had subscribed to his channel, we was gonna put a bunch of people in to potentially win a raffle to get a free pay-per-view. Um, he picked the person and um, I definitely sent them the money 
Um, for the pay per view, it was uh, Kalia Hatfield. I said congratulations on your free pay per view. You know what I'm saying? Like you don't need her information, but the money was sent. Just keeping, you know what I'm saying, keeping it consistent. If I say I'm gonna do some shit, you know what I'm saying, I definitely do it. But uh, other than that, uh, there's a dude named Nathan Smith. Uh, he sent me money on Cash App for my birthday. I need you to hit me at RiceGameClothing at gmail.com. Nathan Smith, I got something for you. A lot of other people did, but what he did was super special. Other than that, y'all niggas know what it is. Cassidy! Get him, Cass! <laughs> Yes. Oh, like, oh, this shit. Yes. So, Cass, all I'm saying is, man, hey, look. niggas said I'm, I'm making angles for you, man. Yeah, that's, I, yeah, niggas. Is hey, yo, hey, yo, bro. Yo, the nigga said, the nigga said, he said verbatim, he said, they saying, Cass is, I said, they saying. Who, who is they, they saying? Who is they? Who is that? Yo. Yo, you know what's crazy? That's just because they that they, they said like cause you said when we meet cause we speak. So they not even they don't even know me and you talk for real. And like niggas like really five. think like we don't like so so he probably he trying to do that to just in case if he lose. I'm telling you, like he he feel like if he, he lose, he just gonna blame it on all of that other shit. Well he better start everybody Fuck your shit, boy. Definitely going to start preparing. Yo, yo, Daylight, you got yo. to get them kids, them Fuck kids. Rounds. Let them just start preparing. It's like, you know what I mean? Hey, y'all go sit y'all down, lay down, go to sleep. <laughs> hey, Day, they going to tell you, shut up and make a rap. Man, hey, I'm going to fuck around and get tell jumped, my nigga. These niggas, wow. That nigga. <laughs> <laughs> Little nigga going to get hit by a bus. <laughs> Look, the nigga playing basketball. Look at this nigga, bro. <laughs> Yo, Cass. Yo, Cass. What, what you said? What you said? Nah, I said that nigga about to die, man. Like, I don't understand. Like, when a nigga say you're about to kill me, I be asking niggas, like, let me hear four bars that he ever said in any of his battles that could show y'all that he could beat me. Like, let me hear it. Niggas just saying he gonna beat me up for what? Off of arm movements? Off of... Gun sounds, what are you gonna beat me off of, man? <laughs> a lot of people just saying that he 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 one of the best performers, so he gonna come in there and, and do what he do. I'm one of the best performers too. When I battled disaster and I thirty them, they said it was all performance, right? They was like, like yo, it was just all performance, no bars. But niggas know I'm bars. I had bars before any battle league started. So to write a punch or a bar, I should have for me. And the right. learn how to like swing your arms. I seen a nigga Michael Jackson lean on him. Y'all want me to do all that? Like that shit is easy to learn. It ain't hard to do. I don't gotta call you. That nigga twerking. I don't gotta call Calico and all these niggas and ask them to show me how to Michael Jackson lean on him. I don't gotta ask them how. Yo, move. How you say bow? Like <laughs> yo, move. Saying, bow. Am I doing it right? Am I loud enough? Yo, Calico. Man, Udo, that's yo, Calico. That's, that's when what I, I be about the forty cow. How should I hold my hand like this, or should I do it like listen, this? Listen, listen. Cass, like this? you've been doing this shit. Do hey, this. niggas want niggas want a battle rap because they seen Cass. I I don't understand. Yo, bro. But I I kind of understand what it is. Like like I said in a in a previous interview, everybody got their favorite version of Cass. Everybody love me for reasons and that's what they want to see when and I was a baby to be in the stage so I couldn't bring that to the table like I'm comfortable with being in the booth I wasn't as comfortable as being on the stage not just for battle rap reasons but a lot of other shit was wrong my mic the crowd it was a lot of funny shit going on so I was still growing <laughs> and learning as far as that go you know what I mean? As far as just getting yo, that nigga head, know, head, 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 putting bars together, oh, it's easy. Saying. And as far as performing, I can't get what I do. No, I know how to hold the crowd. I know how to perform. I, I was the first one making before. gun sounds and, and swinging arms like I had a gun in my hand even when it wasn't. I ain't gonna lie. This was on that type of shit. So niggas can't say like I can't perform. It's just I gotta bring that to the table. That's the just it's like a little bit of missing pieces of the puzzle that niggas 
expecting that they ain't get, and they definitely gonna get it this time. Okay. Yo, you know what was yeah. ether though? I ain't gonna lie. Nigga said, Hitman said, yo, nigga said, <laughs> after this battle, you ain't gonna be booked again. He said, I said, I'm gonna be booked you work for. <laughs> My last yeah, morning. <laughs> I don't care. Nigga said, I got booked on the show you worked for. You was on my team. <laughs> I was the captain. And we won. <laughs> oh, man. Hey, yo. <laughs> I'm not going. Yo, I ain't going to hold you, man. Nah, Bad Uno. Bad Uno is in here. Bad Uno knows everything. I was going to wild out, too. Like, I was going to wild out, too, on the first episode. Yeah. Or Hitman and all of the battle on the show when they had like comedians yeah. and yeah. Yeah. on the show back. Then. So, Yo, daylight, daylight, you gotta leave the house. I'm leaving right now, my son. <laughs> Cause they 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 interrupt them with Cash is saying. Say that again, Cash. <laughs> nah. Luke was bringing the chip. A while and now got taken off the air. I was on the last episode. But I was on the first episode too. Like I performed before they had any battle rappers on while and out. Like before any of them, Hitman and any of them had jobs, I was on the show. So it goes to show where the inspiration of book battle rappers on that show came from. Yo, I be I just be fine. Yo, I'm an instigator. I just be fine shit. For, like y'all niggas said before niggas had jobs. <laughs> Yo, chill, B. Chill. Nah, you know that's their job. Yo, when I was <laughs> out, I had a dressing room like by myself. Like I had my own dressing room. <laughs> he didn't. So like, Yo, bro, for niggas said for niggas had jobs. Come on, man. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yo, yo, mucho, B. Hey, yo, 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 you got yo. This thing is hilarious, bro. I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, bro. Yo, cat, you know, man. Nigga, be like, you know what I mean? But it's all love, though. Like last time I seen the boy, <laughs> he was just showing super love. Like it's nigga, all love. love hey, yo, like chill, bro. <laughs> I don't know when it switch. I guess when the battle got booked, it switch. He just start talking greasy. But the last time I seen him, y'all seen it. It's on TV. Y'all can put Yo, it up. Uno, Uno. Nigga said it's all like, love. When I was performing the songs, I thought Hitman was my hype man. The way that I was performing <laughs> my songs and singing my words, I thought I paid the nigga to be my hype man or something. Oh, shit. Now that nigga disrespecting me, doing blogs, talking crazy. But you was just my hype man. You know all the words of my songs. Shit, I was forgetting you were saying words, too. Like, I don't know no words to your songs. Like, a nigga could put a gun to my head and say, I'm going to blow your head off if you don't tell me some bars from a Hitman song, then I'll be dead. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be dead, man. Yo, chill, B. Yo, 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 Kaz. So, listen. So, I see a lot of battlers. Niggas is really... Yo, um, that nigga said, nigga said, it's all love. Nah, niggas, but niggas. <laughs> <laughs> yo, oh, shit. Yo, move, chill. Yo, My niggas, fault, bro. Yo, niggas is emotionally invested, Cass. Do you, do you know why so many battlers feel like, you know, they have to be very angry, you know what I'm saying, when it comes to you, when you come back to, to, to the culture, you know what I'm saying? Like, do you, do you feel like they should be angry or they should at least just wait and see what's going to happen before they It's all love. It's all love. They had a rapper different. Everybody got a different personality. Hey, nigga, different. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know what I'm saying? Every battle rapper don't feel the same. And I hate when they try to categorize every battle rapper like they all think and feel the same. Like, you know what I'm saying? It could be a battle rapper mad that I'm back because he been rapping for a long time. He could barely get booked. He can't demand the numbers he want. He not getting really paid. He not in demand. And then when he do rap, his views ain't up. 
So it's like, what's from here? Can't make music, can't go to the industry, could barely battle rap. And you just see me coming back. Soon as they announce the shit is just mayhem, I'm popping shit, talking crazy about everybody, and nobody can't really do nothing, and I'm still around. That shit is frustrating to certain niggas. But to other niggas, is motivation, because they them type of niggas. That's the tip they on. So they know if it's registering for me, it's going to register when they do it. So it's motivation for certain niggas. And to other niggas, it could be like, you know, it could be hurtful. Like, you know what I'm saying? Because niggas doing the same similar shit, but they can't really, you know what I mean, take it to the next level or figure out a way to make it a wave. So it could be difficult. Right, 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 right. I mean, I mean, for me, like, I feel like this is going to be a, a good match. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not mad at people feeling like Hitman going to uh, win or Hitman going to lose or Cassidy going to win or Cassidy going to lose. Like, the same thing I said in, in, in interviews, I'm going to say, yeah, like, I'm just here to see what's up. I'm here for the entertainment value of it all. Whether do good or Cassidy do bad or, or Hitman do good or Hitman do bad. I'm just here to see the shit. I see this, see this shit. Thank you know you. what I'm saying? Like, I, I just want to see it. What, what's going to happen? We don't know what's going to happen. You know what I mean? Like, let's just see it. Nah, that's what I'm happy about. You know, that's what I want the culture to be. Like, it don't matter if you want me to 30 that man. You think I'm going to get 30? Oh, shit. Bro, however you want it to be, I just want everybody to tune in. Like, or with a story. Like, because I have <laughs> Go, you don't get a chance to see it if you tune in. Oh, this happening. Hey, yo, chance to witness it. April 3rd is definitely going down. Unless, yo. like, I'm hey, saying, yo, Uno, show pardon up. me. I'm sorry, y'all. My fault, my fault, yo, Cass. I'm sorry, um, Mickey and Cass. I, I was saying, yo, yo, we just, we just got it. Y'all niggas, we just got a hell of a fucking intro for this, for the second round. Uno, I'm about to tell you. I'm gonna tell you, Uno and, and Kaz. I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell you too when, when we get off this shit, and Mickey too. Like I tell y'all when we get off this, but keep keep, keep going, cause you know, my fault, y'all. It just was crazy just now. But yeah, Kaz, keep going. <laughs> they getting ready for that tour too, joint. But um, what I wanted to ask you was, you know, what I'm saying like for you, like. Do you feel like I, I've been watching your interviews? You saying that you you changing shit up a little bit because you know you starting to learn the game a little bit, and we already know what you do in terms of on the on the on wax and how crazy you get on wax. Do you feel like adding this extra element to what you already do is going to be effective against Hitman? Of course, everything I do be effective, man. I be reinventing myself all the time and everything that I apply, it be effective. And all of this was a plan. This was strategic. I took them 15 years off because I was too much of a threat. So in them last battles that I was in, I don't want people to think that I wrote my best and I like I was just slaving over the book just trying to write my best and that's what I came up with. Nah, I was like, that shit was light to me. It wasn't even really nothing. Like, you know what I'm saying? So I don't want think people to think that's the best that I could do. Like, because I don't consider these niggas the best opponents. But now it's not even about the opponent. It's just I got a point to prove, period. Just to let niggas know how I give it up. So I don't really see what Hitman could really do, you know, to win. You know what I mean? I've seen him battle plenty of times. Right. And I know how he rap. I know what he come with. And I don't know what he could possibly do to win. Let me ask you this question. So when I went on champion, I told that story about when Jewels pulled up to Rucker. Do you even remember that shit? Like when you was out there wilding on, on 55th and, 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 and crazy. Yeah. Like I see, because I've seen like, you know, there's, you know, the, the, the talk is there's no on. Huh? I was saying partially. Like, you know what I mean? I, don't, I remember being out there giving it up, but I don't remember, like, all of the details. I don't remember, you know what I'm saying? All of them getting busy. Yeah, 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 because a lot Even of... Stan Spit was talking about that. Like, Stan Spit, I don't know if you know him. Legendary nigga from Harlem, putting it in. Um, 
got this shit out with him and Gruff McGruff now and shit. He going crazy. Right. But me got a relationship from back in the day, and he from 140, and he was telling me when I came over there, and you know. 139, 140, if I was over there and I was coming over there looking for rappers, giving it up in Harlem way back in the day. Right. He always be talking about that shit. So I know how I was running around looking for niggas to battle rap at that point. Like a lot of times, a lot of times people kind of really don't understand. Like, so when you say, like, I, I, I know people say that you got the 5,000 to know from, from Meek, but I know how Rough Riders was giving it up back in the days, cause D and Y, you know what I'm saying? They used to, they used to take kids from the Bronx, and and have them like pit bulls. So, so what I was saying on that championship, it was like nobody could ever take away what you was doing before, even the freeway battle, because you literally was outside giving it up, and people don't in their mind they can't fathom that you was battling multiple people. You know what I'm saying? Because that's what happened back in the days. You know what I'm saying? Like, back in the days, this is what niggas was doing all the time, every single time. You know what I mean? So, what's, you know, like, could you give your your, your personal experience when it came to that, you know what I'm saying, with DNY and with Swiss and, and how that was back in those times? Because I feel like people just kind of disregard that being we in this era that we in now. Yeah, well... I came up battle rapping, like in Philly, before I even got with Rough Riders, that's all I was known was battle rapping. I was on this radio show in Philly called The Cypher where I battle rap every day. And then I started running around in the streets to make people know who the person was that was on the radio. Because back then there was no social media, so they only heard my voice, they ain't know what I looked like. So that's how I got popular of battle rap, like battling, being competitive. That's how I got famous in the city. And people started coming to the city looking for me and offering me deals off of just battle shit, not really no songs. Right. And when I was 17, I signed the Rough Riders. That's when I started focusing on making music. But right. I would sign the Rough Riders as a production company, but I ain't had no budgets opened up. I ain't have no um, distribution. So... I was fighting for that. And to get my name known with all that competition around, I felt as though I, I had to do that by battling, being competitive. Right. So even though I was signed, I jumped back in my battle rap bag. You know what I'm saying? To let people know that I was viable and I needed the opportunity. Like, I'm a priority, not somebody that you could just put on the back burner and wait for. It's like I'm a priority, and I had to show niggas that by battling. So that's when I started running around city to city, state to state, just battling every day, all day, every day. And that's how I developed my relationship with Swiss. He was down with Rough Riders at the time. And by me being down with Rough Riders and going crazy like that, that's mm -hmm. how I developed the relationship with me and wanted me as a solo artist because I was going so crazy. Right. So, so, you know, me being who I am and being like in the Bronx, I heard, like, I heard two two specific, well, three specific stories, uh, and I, I've seen you battle one time, and that was in that was in Rucker Park. So the three stories is this: I heard one story where you battle Uncasa. Do you remember that Uncasa battle? Um, yeah, that was um, that was in Yonkers though. We did that in um Yonkers in Pow Wow Studio. It was him and two other dudes. I don't know if they was in the group back then. It seemed like they was, though, because they right. all had the raps, and they was like some, huh? they was on some, like, M.O.P. type shit, like, the way right. they backing each other up and ad-libbing each other shit and, like, real hype and shit. Right. I was fucking with them, though, but they came up to the studio, and we, you know what I mean? We was in a three-man group, too, so they came up as a three-man group, and we had to go at it. Right, 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 right. I don't remember it specifically, but I do remember them coming up as a group and us getting busy. I don't remember exactly all of the details, but I do remember that day. You know what I mean? And um, that shit used to happen every day, though. Like, that's why it's, like, difficult to remember. It's more easy for people to remember their battles now. It's more spaced out, scheduled. The niggas that you battling got bigger names or at least a name. Like, Uncasa, I know Uncasa now. Like, you know what I'm saying? After, like, now he done put in work 
did different shit niggas know him. But at that time when he was coming in the studio, I didn't know who that nigga was. It's like, niggas talking about they rap, let's get it. Then you get busy, you learn about niggas later. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, it was harder to remember them niggas that I was running through back then because a lot of times they ain't even have a name yet. They was just coming too. So how could you possibly remember them? You know what right. I mean? It's certain industry niggas that's on now that other people remind me that I battled them. Like, see, situations like you brought up. Right. Niggas that all the time. Yo, I remember when we was in the studio, this studio, and you battled such and such. Like, a nigga that's out now. Like, that sold records and all that. And I'm like, yeah, yeah. Remember you was in front of the Apollo when you battled such and such? And I'm like, you know what I'm saying? Because right. they were them back then, so I probably ain't know. Like, you know what I mean? Right, right, right. Um, and, uh, my cousin, he produced, uh, my cousin Wayno, he produced Put Your Hands Up for Kiss. And, um, so he, he, he told me about, uh, Infrared, who was signed to, uh, uh, Rough Riders at the time too, but he was signed as a songwriter. I don't know if you, if you ever ran into Infrared and I know he was. That's my bro, Inf, my bro, shout out to him. Yeah. So Inf, so Inf, like. Inf was like a great songwriter. I don't, I don't, I, I think I met him maybe one time. This is way back. I, I, you know how I go. This is like 2004. But have, did you and Infrared ever get into any battles back in the days? Or You know what I'm saying? Because my thing is like, I'm just trying to collect so much information in terms of when niggas was doing the shit off cam. Because I think that's, I think people try to disregard that because there's no footage. But I feel like this is when this was the time when it was really just about who's the better rapper. Now it's just about who's making the most money, who's doing this. But back then it was more so about the respect of who's the better rapper. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um. Nah, man. I don't think me and Inf, we probably ciphered and worked a lot. Like we was around each other a lot. But I don't think me and Inf ever battled. Right. Me and Inf got around. My shit was so. We ain't never battled. 